Right now, the data are most promising for abrutinib, which is a covalent BTK inhibitor, which has a 70% response rate. And at ASH, in treatment-naive patients, was reported to have over 90% progression-free survival at over two years and 75% progression-free survival at over two years in relapse patients. Then adelalisib is an inhibitor of the delta isoform of PI3 kinase, also has a very high response rate in relapsed refractory CLL, and progression-free survival is about 16 months in the phase one study. They haven't done a large phase two study in CLL yet. Those two are sort of leading the pack. There are other inhibitors of BTK and PI3 kinase that are behind them in development that we don't know yet exactly how well they compare to those. And then some of the other targets Desatinib and Everolimus are drugs that are out there for other diseases. have been tested in CLL, not that impressive as single agents, especially when you compare them to abrutinib or adelalisib. Sick inhibitors, fostimatinib, 12 patients, 11 or 12 patients have been published, but it wasn't, the data were not really presented in the way we typically think about it for CLL, so it's a little hard to tell what happened with those patients. But companies are actively developing other sick inhibitors that will likely go into the clinic. But again, those are behind, so we don't know how they compare yet.